us? I will, I will give you the answer with two quotations only. You'll find out why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like uh, I told you, I have a lot of questions. We, we only went through one question and oh, yeah. it already took us an hour. <laughs> then let's, <laughs> let's be finish this one quickly and let's see the next one. So you see, Easter is not even, um, it's not in the, yeah, okay, let me jump to the fifth one. Let me jump to the fifth one. Then we can close it here. Yeah. <laughs> the Passover symbols, as compared to that of the Easter symbols, they are very, very different. Number one, the Passover is full of meaning. Jesus himself is our Passover lamb. Um, yes. According to 1 Corinthians 5, yes. 7. They use sheep. Or let me say goat, sheep for that matter. And according to John chapter 1, verse 14, that was John the Baptist said, This is Jesus Christ the Messiah, mm -hmm. the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the earth. So the symbol was a, a, a sheep. Mm -hmm. And in the New Testament, the symbol is Jesus the Messiah. Yes. One. Good. Two, the living bread that represents the sinless life and the broken body of Christ. Yeah. Matthew 26, 26. Uh -huh. God told them in the Exodus, when you are preparing bread, don't add any yeast to it. Mm. Because yeast symbolizes sin. Mm. Okay. Christ was sinless. So yes. his body was sinless. You see yeah. the representation here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Three, the wine or the vine representing his blood. It's V-I-N-E, yeah. vine. But now we are using wine. You see, mm -hmm. I said, -E, wine mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. wine, booby. Yeah. We are all in the Bible. Grapes, grapes. And lastly, after he has had dinner with them, or I think before them, I'll check. He says, wash their feet. Before this, he washed their feet. That mm -hmm. symbolizes humility. He, he, he humbled himself. Yes. John chapter 13, verse 5 to 8. You see, he washed their feet before they go for the dinner. Mm -hmm. of, I am a master, but I'm saving you. Meaning yes. That even though I am big, I'm seven. So yeah. our faith, Christian faith, is a seven or, or, or it's a seven faith. We yeah. serve each other. Sure. We yeah. humble ourselves before each other. The Jesus yes. said, I have done it for you, do it for others. That's why I'm supposed to serve you. You yeah. should serve me. I have to humble myself before you and respect you and like yeah. what vice versa. If yeah. you can take this one and leave it there, who will have a problem with it, brother? Who? Mm -hmm. no but when it comes to the Easter, uh, the primary symbols associated with our ex. Easter yeah. And then uh, festivity symbols. Go to the shop. You can merchandise whatever you want to take. So it's yeah. not, these are the major and major factors that distinguishes the Passover from the, um, the Passover from... Uh, the, uh, uh, um, the Easter. Easter. Yeah. And what is so funny is everybody, even non-Christians celebrate Easter. Oh, yes. The, some of them celebrate Easter. Atheists, they celebrate Easter. Yeah. And yeah. no, none of them have ever heard of Passover. And mm -hmm. it's also never mentioned or celebrated anywhere. Yeah. So... Mm -hmm. Hey. I promise to answer the question for you using the scriptures. Why yes. is it that we don't uh, know all these things and uh, as you are saying? No, who is supposed to teach us? Who? Our pastors are supposed to teach us. Yes. yes. But let's see what the Bible says. Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 26. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that our priests, they have violated my instructions and defiled my holy things. In this, in this context, one of the holy things is the Passover. We have violated it. Yes. They make no distinctions between what is holy and what is not. Hmm. And they do not teach my people the difference between what is ceremonially clean and mm -hmm. unclean. Mm -hmm. They have even disregarded the Sabbath of God they so that I am dishonored among them. Well, let's put the Passover in the context and see. Yes. He didn't say the church members, the priests, our mm -hmm. pastors. 
our so-called bishops, our so-called papas. Yes. Who is supposed to learn something from them? That's why the Bible is talking about them. They have violated God's instructions. Go told them, tell the people to do this. They violated it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have defiled God's holy things. Yes. It's like Passover, that represents the Son of God Himself. They have yes. violated it and replaced that thing with Easter bunnies. Yes. Wow. That's what the Bible is saying. I didn't say that. And Elder, we can put a lot of things in this context. Too many. Too many. So we can put in this context, which is going on right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. World that is so, so scary. It's so scary, yeah. That's why I say don't depend on them. Don't depend on them. If you have yeah. to depend on your pastor alone, to start, you burn. You burn and uh, you, you, God cannot have pity on us. Most of us are lost. If I read scripture like this, then um, the part of Revelation saying that those who will end up in hell, the amount of people that will end up in hell is, is so many that even the sons of... of, of seashore. Seashore. Yeah, too many. Too many. That, if we if we go through scriptures like this, then it all makes sense what Revelation is talking about. Yeah. When the Bible says many are called, but few are chosen. Oh. So if you don't strive to be part of that of few that is chosen, then uh, you are lost. Look at what the Holy Spirit spoke through Prophet Malachi. He tell us, Malachi chapter two verse seven. He says that <laughs> the words of a priest's lips should preserve knowledge of God. Our pastors, mm -hmm. our so-called papas, our bishops, with mm -hmm. big eyes and macho voices. The Bible yeah. says their lips should preserve the knowledge of God. What do they know? They don't know anything. Yes. And their people should go to him for instructions. We the church members, we are supposed to go to them for them to tell us what you're supposed to do. Yes. Yes. Why? The priests, they are the messengers of God. But he said, You priests have left God's path. Is that what is happening? It's not a, it's not the members' fault. The members are ignorant. So it's yes. for that. But the pastors, look at the, what the Bible is saying about them. Look, they say the, the Bible says the pastors they have left God's paths. Yes. Persons have caused many to stumble into sin. Yes. Yes. What they are doing it has caused many of us to stumble into sin. Mm -hmm. You have corrected the comment I made with Levi. Says the Lord of God um, of Jehovah. You see. A lot of uh, heavens, I mean, they, that's the God himself saying that. They have um, corrupted God's covenant. They have done so many things that's causing us to stumble into sin. Mm. So all this Easter thing people are celebrating, I don't blame them. Yeah. I don't blame them. They are ignorant, yes. But whose fault is it? Yes. The pastors, they are the one doing that. Yes. Because I, I, I myself celebrated Easter for many, many years because I was brought into it in, in my in the churches I went it was taught that we are celebrating the resurrection of, of Christ Jesus. Yeah. So of course you 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 put all your heart and soul into it because you think you are doing a, a rightful thing. Yeah. Meanwhile we are actually cursing ourselves. Yeah. This is very <laughs> this is very very scary and I really pray that people will wake up that people will wake up to the truth yeah. and the truth shall set them free because I, I used to be part of it. And now that I know the truth, the truth has set me free, not only from this Easter celebration, but many, many other things yeah. that I got to learn in, in church. Yeah. But while, when I started digging into the scripture myself and searching for preachers who teach the truth, the un undiluted truth. My eyes started opening yeah. and, and I got to learn so many things and I could break free. So my prayer is really that this thing, this interview that we are doing, that it will reach people and that it will really bring them, bring them to, to, their, to their senses and, 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 and open, <laughs> I don't, I'm even short of words. <laughs> Really hope it will reach people. Really, really pray. It will. Yeah. <clears throat> Elder, yes. thank you so much. I know we, we haven't gone through all the 
the, the questions. If you and have time, I'm here. You can end this, take your refreshment and come back. I'm here. Okay, I have, uh, there, there's, there's some, if you still have time for us, maybe we I'll can go. You. No problem. Okay. So the one about uh,